Takes you. We're just on the eve of the Women's Super League season started. You've had uh, an FA Cup game and a couple of pre-season friendlies. How are you feeling now? Yeah, really exciting. Um, just ready and, and raring to go. And uh, yeah, it can't come soon enough now. How are the girls? Are the, I know it's taken a while to get the group that you want and mould them together. And there's some new signings that have been late arriving. Has that affected plans at all? They, it's a very positive vibe, is it? Yeah, very positive vibe. Uh, we've still got a long way to go in terms of getting the squad how we want it. Um, but our new recruits that have come in are fitted in perfectly um, and they've really added value to our, to our squad. And yeah, everybody's buzzing and everybody's, everybody's ready to go. So we had um, a good result with our development team at the weekend. Um, so yeah, we're just going to ride on the back of that. So pre-season friendlies have been useful to you, I suppose, to just see, see the ladies in action and see how they knit together. Yeah, we've played um, a couple of uh, teams from the US, some college teams from the US, um, and also uh, another club. Um, it's really, it's really good to a point because you can tinker with the team a little bit, um, and it keeps everybody fresh and it keeps everybody uh, thinking about, you know, their, whether they're going to get time on the pitch against the bees. So uh, yeah, everybody's very excited and everybody can't wait to hear the team and uh, they're ready to to make Watford proud. How the start of the play, incidentally, across the. Uh across the Atlantic. Does it change much? Is ladies football across the pond? Uh, I think it does. Um, we played against George Washington University. They're a Division One college. Um, and we, we knew that they were going to come at us fast and play three up front. Uh, they were absolutely awesome and they had a fantastic uh, rotation going on and not only in the centre midfield but all over the park and that's something that we probably won't come up against in terms of their style of play in the WSL too but it's absolutely brilliant to be able to play against and have to adapt to a different style of play so yeah it was a fantastic fantastic experience for us and hopefully for them too. Being, having been involved in a national coaching setup yourself, you're aware of the of the transient nature of styles and what have you. Have you got a particular set way you're looking for first team and development to play? Has that been infused yet? It's quite funny because this question has been asked of me uh, quite a lot, um, especially by the players. And I'm very much, uh, I like to be adaptable to not only the players that we've got and the players that are in form and the players that are fit, but also adaptable to the environment and who we're playing and whether we're playing home, home or away. Um, so we're quite fluid and it goes back to um, what, what we set ourselves for off the pitch in terms of our philosophy. So it matches on and off the pitch. So in answer to your question, yeah, it's very fluid. Yeah, good. And, and, and it's interesting that the players are taking a keen interest in that because obviously they'd have played different styles and formations at other clubs. Yeah, I think when I first came in, it was the biggest question because I think they're trying to weigh up whether their uh, position is under threat or not. So I think that was the reason for asking. So 6 4 zero, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason, I think, initially for the interest. But actually, um, like I said, I think it's quite fluid and um, it keeps them on their toes for, for definite. And I think they've, enjoy they've definitely embraced it and I think they've enjoyed it and I think it's going to give us flexibility throughout the season. With a competitive um, debut, so to speak, for many of them out the way, with the Millwall Cup tie, how far has the group moved on to the point that they're about to take on London Bees now? Hopefully they have moved on uh, and, and progressed from that. I personally think they have, um, but we obviously we will get judged by the results on, on Wednesday. Um, and obviously, you know, we did play Millwall and this is a completely different team. Um, so we will have to see, but I think they've progressed massively as individuals, but also as the units and, and the team as the whole, especially going back to, you know, bringing in the new, the new recruits. And the, the squad's a decent size. We're looking up here in the Rookery Concourse. There's, there's a homegrown talent there, a hero is born, Paul Robinson. There's a sprinkling of local talent, I know, in the squad, but I guess we're looking for the next the next Watford hero to emerge from this season, aren't we? Or here, heroine, should I say correctly? Yeah, and um, hopefully a few of them will, will step up. We've got a, a few girls, three girls at the moment, who are currently on the books of, of England at the um, under-18s, under-19s level, which is absolutely fantastic for the club and then for, for them personally. Uh, but the girl to look out for, Molly Burgess, uh, local local to the area, has come up through the club, um, through the, the development, under-19s, and then through the development squad and is now a first-team player. So watch out, for, watch out for her. You can't wait to get going, eh? Definitely. Let's go.